Well, right now, water levels on our side of Lake Erie are incredibly low. Bottom of the lake holds some secrets, which are easier to see during a sesh. First alert meteorologist Aaron Ashley pulled on the uh, waders and has the story. It's new at 530 tonight. Aaron. That I did. Seish events let us see what lies beneath the surface. After all, the best way to see the bottom of a lake is to just move the water. A seish kicks up when winds pick up. Now this can make the western side of Lake Erie quite shallow, as you can see right here, and maybe even empty. Dr. Todd Crail with the University of Toledo studied native mussels in Lake Erie. He says that research is easier during a seish. Are there mussels out here? and uh, I was studying them in rivers, and uh, lo and behold, here they were. They're not supposed to be here. Because Western Lake Erie is the shallowest point of the shallowest Great Lake, its water is incredibly vulnerable to the weather. So local ecosystems, including wildlife, endure these dramatic changes. Dr. Crail says that mussels have some of the most fascinating evolutionary adaptations because of it. The big guy is the native and the little guys are the invaders. Mussels are sinking themselves down into the sediment and suffocating the, mus the, the, the invader mussels, and, and you can just pop them right off like that. Other secrets beneath the surface include... The faster it happens, the more things that get stranded. Uh, there's crayfish, there's all kinds of macroinvertebrates, like little amphipods and things crawling around the rocks. Sometimes stage events are so strong that the water comes sloshing back after the winds die down. This lakeshore flooding can be quite dangerous. So to quote David Wright, a researcher with the Great Lake Environmental Research Lab, a seiche is a force of nature and it shouldn't be taken lightly. Jay.